ar kwa le maso mudi muntate ntate kala bakala chiso crest wana sareta mudi mahala lang mudi mahala mata mudi mutsohle da kwena jehofa wite mantsunga ha go memen tuntsohle jehofa right now jehofa ga o memen mudi meso bitenga ga sepagase mudi meso gele ke ene ka ra bet ba ba tsamaisi ba mosibitsi o mudi meso gele ba kopanye o ba etse ntwe longwe mudi mo ga mo ya hallang o tlo ipona ha tse bo go thonga o tlo etsa la e mudi mo se ka sepaga se mudi e tse thatwa jehofa ntate ga le bo wa ntate ka kopano lu kutwa ne to ba ntate ga sepetse e mudi ga pela ga mudi mo se go kutwa ne re ba mo ya o le mong to la le mila ngwane mo le motho buang ka sepaga se na ka madi ya jesu o ga bua se den tsora ntate ka le bitsola jesu christ mo ga le bo wa ntate amen rale bo entate ke le bo wa dumela na ka le bitso ke thembeni skuli ngangisa ke motsamaisi wa komiti ena eh ke na le ba tsamaisi mo ho mona ditho tsa ke tsa molao ya parliament ya free start jwale ke ba tla ba tsibisa ke tsaba hore ha le no utlwa mantsi wa bona pele ko programo ena efela jwale ke tlo re ba itsibisa re na le eh ba emedi utswa parliament e ngebo hareng di moman o to hlalosa hantle le baka le re beang kwano le o re tlo buisa nang ka lona me re le amwela ka o fela ka gweletso le o tlwisisa hore le tlile kwano mo sebetseng o ne re tlileng wa jwa le pele ke tsibisa hantle ntle hore na le baka le re beang mona ke le feng ke tlo kopa ba itsibise ka bongwe ba sebetse mo le nna ba di thotsa ke tsa molao ya parliament ya mona ya freesta Good morning. Khoe mehora. Dumelang. Inaki Roy Jenkelson ki member ya committee na parliament ya fresta ta. Ki ale bo. Dumelang. Le kai. Li bitsola ka kenna William Kwekwe Bulwane. ke se thosa komitie nana sa le khotlala ke tswamela o province ya Freesta ta mona Dumela eh le bitsola ka ke Lucy Mapena ke se thosa komitie ena ya distia ya parliament ke lebo Dumela lebitso la ka ke montsentsi u ke member ga ya kutiena ya parliament ya lebo khotso madume naka lebitso ke mesara monele ke ke member ya kopano ya kopano ya parliament ena ya free start ra le boa ar sa sanitizer em ra na le ba eti ba rona o tswa parliament e bo hareng ba tlhoetsang tsibiso ena eh ke tlo kopa ba itsibise na go ba etsa mosebetsi wa bona eh ha ke neela ho bona ba itsibise ke ba tla hang hang ba ba se ba kena ga bo i don't know whether you understand Thank God. Tswale re tlile kwano le bitsitswe ke parliament e ho tlo le kudisis melawana emibedi etsa maisang tsa setso 
kapatsena tsa batho bana ba na leng neho kapa talent e u bontsa bogoni ba bona ka hore ba gona u ithaisa ka talent e o mabapi le u bopa bina u ngola le e u tansa ka pa mogwa u fika pa u feng wa art e o etsa le bana ba ba troya ka o fela ha bona ke karolo le ba bina ke karolo ya eh le fa phalela la rona la ntsetso pele ya tsa setso ka ra na ya rona me le fa phalena maikemisetso a teng ke hore le kopanye ka o fe eh beng ka rona ba gona ngwetsa mosebetsi ona o motle o le ka o bona hore na Release chabar ka kopa na joang. Release chabar ka ananela. Talente za rona tse fa pani njwa. Release chabar ka kona joang hui kopa anyoba. Hanga ata sito sarun. Kiso na seru kopa nya. Hanga ka sito sarun na ki muteo waru. Hanga ata sito sarun na ki ona. Iling nto e tambu niti baore. Hubona hale nto ene ebiti wa mbutu ubuntu. So. Le fa palena la arts and culture. Musibitu wate nki uhuri. Li etse bu niti ba hore li tshorietsa di talente tsena boemong ba hore batho ba rona ba gone o ipona hatsa ka hotle hotle Empase pio pio ko hore ho kopane se tshaba sa rona re tseba na lani ya mo re tswante ngone re gaohane re hloyane ho ya ka hore na o morafe o fe re lwantsana re bolayana ka hore na o morafe o fe tswale re maikemisetso a hore a e se tshaba se se tsha me karolo ena e ba palwang ke arts and culture ke o etsa bonnete ba hore re kopanya sechaba sa rona re hlompha eh eh mirabe ya rona ka o ba re thewe ka o fela ka o tswana pela se fahle o sa modimo re batho o sa gathaletse o rena o o tswa morabeng o fe so ke o kopanya sechaba se empa hape ke o etsa bonnete ba hore ba thwa practicing arts and culture ba thaya misebetsi ke bo ramisebetsi ba iketsetsa di go me ba iphilisa ka mogwa o so hona le molao ono o tsamaisa o ile nwa theuwa eh eh o ba tsamang ka ona bitswa performing performance protection act e ono o tsamaisa hore na lo sireletsa ditukelo tsa lona jwa lo ka di performing artist hona le o mong ono o bitswa ka hore ke e copyright act o tsamaelang ha holo holo le hore na mosebetsi wa hao talent ya ha o isireletsa jwang hore iske ya sebediswa wa hampe ke batho ba bang khahlano le wena empa e le kelelo ya ha me e ka pue nwe go ra wentse mosebetsi o sa gathaletse gore na o filtering fee gore e be mosebetsi wa ha o hlompha ya be wa ha o fela wa o register ka ntwe ba reng ke patent ra so copyright tsa ha le wena ke tsa ha o le mo tshwanetse e be wena di laula disketsa sebediswa ke batho ba bang o sa ba dumella e be ba iketsetsa gwebo ka ba ba iketsetsa le bitso ntle le wena tsola ka motho tshwale mela wana ena e a hla hlabolosu wa gona jwane hore na entse e le relevant kapa e batla ho lukisuwa kapa e batla ho ntshafatsuwa kapa e batla ho improve le ba ke la hore bona hore na eh re ka sireletsa jwa ntikoletsa rona ho ya pe jwa la re tlile re tlo nonya maikutlo a lo hore le buwe hore na le batla hore na eh ho tshintshwe kae kapa ho tiswe kae kapa ho ho o improve we kae molaong ona hore o le sebeletse molemong wa hore o fihleletse na tseki bileng ka tsona pele o ask chaba we get tsa chelte empa ho ho etsa bonnet ba hore ditukelo tsa lona di sireletse ile ka rolong tswale ke tlo fa bo mphatho a rona mona eh ha ba tse ba itsibisa busis be sentse le kena presentation and immediately ka mramo re tlo etsa dipotso re etse di pheiso tse tswang ho lona tse re tla dingwala fatsi tsetla ba karolo ya reporto ya rona ha re lo submit a rona 
di public hearing di tsamaile jwa jwa le kitlo le kopa hore ha bua le ne lengwe le fatse ke ra mokena hanong lengwe le fatse dipotso tsa lona ka pa di pheitso tsa lona ba sa khoneng go bua gona jwa le ho etsa di pheitso le ka nyehela le ka ngola la nyehela mona ka pele o committee me re ka di fitisa di pheitso tse jwa le kopa na tsa rona di tsama ka hore ha o batla hua o phamisa letso o bo fuwa monyetla o bua then o mamele batho ba bang ha o ile hore motho bua ngo bua ntho sa irate o ske wa mokena hanong o motloele a qete o bua and then lo ena tla fuwa chance ya o bua maikutlo a ha ile hore bua ntho irata nga holo le go paskala o pamatso le motloele fela o thabe ka pele o mfela o no bo o bo bo sele fela re bone se fahle bonsa ha hore o thabile o khotso faditse re fokotsa ntho ya hore o ska ba le maemo a o ta thola ona le ba opelwa matso ona le ba sa opelwa matso so that ka o fela re ikutlwe re amohele ile kopano nyena me ka o fela re gone o phuthu bua ka mgo re batlang bua ka teng so ona le tokela o bua ka puo engwe le engwe o utlwang hore e tla gona go beya ntla ya hao utlwa ha le ka teng a wa tlame o bua sotho a wa tlame o bua sthosa a wa tlame o bua sgo o bua puo e tla o khotsofatsa hore ke tla gona o beya ntla ka utlwa ha me ke a le lebo wa ke ho he ke batla o le kopa tsetswe hore le etse jwalo ka witsibisa and then immediately cut ke se le etse presentation uh thank you honorable chairperson and thank you to the honorable members uh dumelang nekai na le nda ke teng eh le bitsola ka ke sibosiso sasai Uh, I'm coming from uh, the Department of Trade, Industry and Competition. Uh, right now, we are responsible for supporting the minister uh, uh, to to run the act through Parliament, so that it can run through the process for it to come through uh, the legislature uh, for us to hear your input. I'm not alone today. I'm with my colleagues, and I'll allow them to introduce themselves. Thanks. Tumela kai itsala ka ke brand and love in the department of street industry and competition Good morning all I'm Amarisa Fanikar from DTRC from the legal department Tumela le kai te ke nna le thabo la ga gwangwa ke tswa ko department of trade and industry legal service thank you eh eh copyright tsa ko thusa operator mike ke motho wa sound and engineering but wa province ba te mona khota ndia kubona mtakatata ndia kubona ndia ya zilo za ba khona oh kheta eh dumela ona ga bole members eh le shaba saka mona le bitsola ka ke Vincent Stembiso Kheta a chief director cultural affairs from the department of sport arts culture and recreation ya lebo mutatsa ma nta te kheta to to mutwa ofising ya MEC holo Legai Ritenga le bitsoe ke nna ke di bone Ivan Motlhasedi 
kizwa ko ofisi nya me maikima hasa ame council member ke emetiri artist za free state ka ofela but then na mo districting ke represent a fezi le dabi ke le bo Uh, thank you, Honorable Chairperson, and thank you to the members. Uh, community, I'm going to present today's bills in English. <laughs> okay. Yeah, can you hear me now? Uh, members of the community, I'll just ask for those people that do not understand English, there are gadgets there that you can use so that they can translate to you in the language that you'll understand when I give the presentation. Are we clear? Uh, today's bills, uh, we are talking to legislation that is very old. It's outdated. It's legislation that is coming from the 60s and also the 70s. You'll agree that uh, a lot of things have changed now with technology especially when it comes to, to music, how we do things. Back then, we used to buy CDs or cassettes or LPs when somebody produces an album. But nowadays, everything is digital. We are fine. Everything now is digital. Uh, so the laws that we have in the country must move with the times. What is important is to ensure that the people that are creative, the people that are innovative, the people that are pushing science to this country, they can be protected. Currently, do we have artists here? People that are authors, people that are sculptures, people that are producers. But do you reap the benefits of your work? And even if you do, do you reap them to the full benefit that you're supposed to be reaping uh, the benefit in the form of the, the payment that you're supposed to receive called uh, royalties? Do you receive those royalties? Do you know the contracts that you sign? Do you understand them? If now you were to produce a song today, do you know where to go uh, in terms of your copyright? Do you understand? what copyright means for you once you have uh, actually released that song and it starts being played out there, whether it's online, uh, whether physically, whether it's played by radios, or whether it's played overseas, or else a person is performing your song. Do you reap benefits for that? Currently, others, they do, others, they don't. The problem that we are having is people are signing contracts that they do not understand, Contracts that waive uh, their rights as the copyright owners. If now you are to produce a song, do you know that you are supposed to be getting royalties while you are still alive and 50 years after you have died? And of course, you have died, you are not going to get uh, those royalties through you. You can transfer that right to somebody else, whether it's a family member or someone that you have nominated. But currently, that right is waived away when you sign contracts and it goes to the record companies. That's why you'll find artists, when they pass away, they pass away with nothing. We find these people, they've been performing for so long, but yet, when they pass on, their kids are poor, their state living is very poor, and they don't even reap any benefits for the work that they, they've been doing for these years. Artists have been knocking on government's door to actually, for government to change these laws so that they protect you in everything that you do in terms of the kind of work that you, you, you are doing. So we are here today to actually bring about the changes that we want within, your, within the creative industry. These kind of changes, they will assist you in your draft so that you can be protected. Where you are not protected, you can find other avenues where you can go free of charge for you to be assisted. So as an artist, the first thing we want to deal with, we want to deal with the issue of royalties. Royalties have to be paid. Currently, there are institutions that are called collecting societies. Collecting societies are there to listen 
to and monitor where your music is being played once it's been released. They monitor and then they check for you in terms of the radio. As an artist, you can sit here and listen to two, uh, so many radio stations and check which one is actually playing your, your work. You cannot do that. It's not uh, feasible for you to do that. But collecting societies can do that on your behalf. And then where there's money that is due to you is called royalties. They will collect it on your behalf and they're supposed to be releasing that money now to the rightful owners. The problem we're having, the money does not reach the artists. That's the first problem we're having. So with this law, we're saying that uh, ro uh, the royalties must, must be paid first and foremost. Secondly, when you sign a contract, we encourage that the kind of contract that you sign, it must have royalty sharing in a way that you are not waving away your rights as the copyright owner, but you are saying every person who's, who's part of the work that you'll be doing at that time will get a share from what you'll be receiving in terms of royalties. So royalties can talk to musical works. Musical works talks to uh, the songs that you produce. It can also be extended to audio visual, visual work. Here we are talking about films that we are producing, uh, things that we can see and uh, we can listen to. Uh, visual artistic work, we are talking here about things that relate to people that are creating paintings or they are creating sculptures, things that you can see with your naked eye. The person is so creative to come up with such a, a work that we have to, 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 to actually buy from, from that person. You'll hear in my presentation, I talk of this issue of work. Uh, uh, when I talk of works, I can be talking to music or I can be talking to films because this act that we are trying to now to amend with these bills, we are moving with the times with, uh, on the international scale because now we do sign treaties uh, to other institutions uh, internationally. So we have to keep uh, the kind of terminology that we use in these bills to be at par with the rest of the world. So even the words that you are in within uh, these bills, it's at that level so that uh, it can be understood even in the other countries and we can also be in a position to compete at uh, the international stage. Secondly, we want to deal with the issue of the contract. We encourage that every contract that you conclude with any party, it must be in written form. It's very important that it is that it is in written form so that if there's any disputes, you can have the evidence to prove or the evidence to fight on your case so that you can prove your case. Uh, in this, uh, currently, you can prove your case in the, in the court of law, but moving forward, we want to introduce what we call the copyright tribunal. The copyright tribunal operates the same as a court. It's just that the members are appointed uh, with the consultation of the Department of Justice and the Chief Justice by our minister for them to establish an institution that will be able to assist you free of charge without you having to go to courts. As we understand, courts are very expensive. Uh, lawyers that you'll be using are very expensive. Uh, so when you are having disputes, you can use this channel for you to talk to your disputes because currently, the only way if we are having challenges in terms of your contract, you have to go to a court of law, and that is a, is a problem for you. Also, the contracts that you'll be signing, we are saying we want it to have uh, minimum standards that have to be included in the contracts. Those minimum standards relate to each of the rights and obligation. The part that you'll be concluding the contract with, you must both understand your rights and your obligations for the contract that you are signing. The issue of the share of the royalties, it must be one of the things that is mentioned within that contract so that you understand when they have to pay out the money, how is the money going to be paid, who will receive how much, and how and when. So we'll talk to the when and the how also in terms of the method of payment and the frequency and how they're going to pay you. Because currently, people, they do, they come maybe to a show and perform in that particular show but they do not know when they're going to be paid and how. And most of those contracts that they get into, it's verbal contracts. So verbal contracts are very complicated 
if when you were talking with this person conclude that co that contract you never recorded the conversation now it's very hard for you to prove that you actually had a contract with this person so now that's why we are moving to a bond we say put everything in black and white so that both parties can be able to take each other on. even the contract that we're going to sign we are saying there must be clauses that will talk to dispute resolution mechanism this is very important that if you don't see eye to eye with the person that you have signed the contract with you can actually find ways and means to find each other where you fail to do that then you can use uh, the copyright tribunal to assist you in that regard you will agree that uh, we have moved quite a long way now in the country in terms of what industrial revolution that we find ourselves in now. Music, I don't need to have a CD for me to listen to music. Using a gadget, such as a phone or a computer, I can listen to music. I can buy music, I can download music. Most people now, if you check, CDs were, back then they were there, nowadays you don't even find a CD store. Even in the space of films, uh, the film houses that are there are going to become abandoned uh, at some point because people they don't need to go to a cinema anymore to watch a film. Just sitting at home, pressing your DSTV, you can hire and watch a movie. And it's very cost-effective for you to do that. And so we want to move to that space where the fourth industrial revolution, the people that are very creative are protected. And we move with the digital economy for us also to benefit from the ideas that we are, com we are coming up with. South Africans in their nature, they are very creative. We have seen your participation even in TikTok uh, uh, platform. TikTok being an app that is coming from China, but people are using it. You will see the trends that you'll be having on that. But are you reaping benefits for everything that you are uploading there? Because we are not yet at that point whereby people can actually be, uh, be reaping their benefits because of the updated laws that we are having in this country. I talked to the issue of the collecting societies. You say currently people, uh, they, they collect money on your behalf, but the money does not reach you. So with the collecting societies, we are, we are, we are putting now mechanisms in place to ensure that any collecting society that is out there, it must first be accredited. Meaning, as the industry must come together, if you want to form a collecting society, if you have the, uh, the means to do that, you can do that. Formulate it, it can, they can be as many as they can, but they will only collect royalties for their members, people that are only affiliated to it. On top of that, because collecting societies are there are currently, they do not account to anyone. It's very hard now to hold them accountable when they do not deliver on their mandate. So to ensure that they can deliver to their members, we want to accredit them to the Companies and Intellectual Property Commission, uh, CIPC in short, so that before they operate, they make sure they have all the mechanisms in place for them to assist the members that they will be collecting uh, the royalties on their behalf. If they do not do that, we can hold them now accountable in terms of reporting to the members, having transparent processes in place to appoint people that will be office barriers in that institution so that we have control of the collecting society and then they can report back uh, to, to, to the members as well. Uh, with these bills also, we are introducing the issue of people with disability you'll understand that most of us are able bodies. We can read and write easily. We don't need any assistance, but there are people out there that need assistance to just read this paper. There are people who do not see, they will need this paper to co be converted to braille for them to understand anything that is written on the paper that you are holding. So currently, the law that is there, you cannot use anyone's work without asking for permission. You ask for that permission because you don't ask for it, you can be sued in a court of law and that person will want to get money from you. But there are these people with disabilities that will want to have a 
an education, but they cannot do that because they cannot access the books that they want to use. So with this, uh, with these bills we're introducing, this issue whereby you wouldn't need uh, uh, what you call permission for you as a person with disability if you want to study for a certain degree for you to actually use that particular book, if you are using a book, uh, for you to study through and then get the information that you want so that you can also qualify. Currently, the, the act that is there now does not cater for this. So the people have been suffering. As I've said, the, act, the acts are very old, in the 60s and 70s. Now we're in 2023, and they've been suffering because they have to ask for permission before uh, they actually use that work. So we want those, uh, those work to be assess accessible without you even asking for, for permission, of course. Uh, it must only be for educational or research purposes so that we assist you in that course. Also, the issue of the royalties, especially for people that are creating sculptures or they are creating paintings. If you sell your painting today, chances are you'll get a once-off lump sum payment. And with time, that painting that you have sold to me, uh, it actually appreciates with time. The value goes up. But you as an artist, you are no longer reaping that benefit from it. Who's reaping the benefit? The one who's an old at that point in time. So even there, we are saying the royalties, you must be allowed to go for what you call the resale royalty right. Meaning that if the person that has bought that art piece from you, they sell it to the next person, where now you can still get a, a royalty from it. A percentage of that royalty must still come to you, not just to the owner of that uh, art piece at that time. So you will get the royalty as this art piece is being sold, whether it's a sculpture or it's an art piece. We will also introduce, like I said, if we are having uh, disputes, uh, the copyright tribunal, the Copyright Tribunal will assist now with disputes that you are having. Currently, you don't have any recourse except for the courts that you must go and complain to if you are having the means to do that. I can take your song right now and make it popular. If you cannot prove it, you cannot go to the court of law. You will never reap the benefits. But now, if this bill is passed, we will have that, co uh, that Copyright Tribunal that will be actually be assisting the people within your space uh, for them to deal with any disputes that you are having uh, with any party that is there. For people that are also creating, whether it's a song, uh, whether you are creating uh, computer programs, uh, whether you are creating games, uh, and you want to actually publish the games, maybe online, or you want people to see the kind of work they're doing, we are introducing an issue called the technology technological protection measure, meaning that you can still upload your work on the internet, but you will be able to, to protect that work by just giving people a snippet of your, of your song, just maybe a minute for them to listen to the song and have a feel what you have produced without them being able to download that song without paying for it. Even the video games or the computer programs that you will put online, the same, same protection will be given to the people so that the kind of work that you are producing, it can still, you can still reap benefits from it without you being prejudiced by people just downloading your, your works online and then you don't reap any benefits. We have seen a lot of people like the likes of Velapi, uh, people that we call performers. You go and act, you go to Kauteng, you act, we'll see you on Generation, we'll see you on a couple of other, other shows, even when you have passed on. Those people were given contracts at that time, and then they signed off those contracts, and then they were paid for the work that they were performing at that time. But the work is still there, even today. We see it uh, on TV. So now, who's getting royalties for that? Currently, the royalties are only going to the people that have produced uh, that work, whether it's a TV program that is going on or your music. So with this, we are saying you must actually be paid even if the work now you have passed on, but the work is still going on. 
they must have royalty sharing even in that space. It must not be a once-off payment whereby we are paid a salary for that time being that we have worked and then we are not paid anymore. We have seen artists, especially actors, that have complained that they are getting peanuts for the work that they have been performing. Some of them have been even been blacklisted from the industry, uh, from being hired because they talk for their rights. So we want to protect those ones so that they can be in a space whereby for the kind of work that they are doing, they can reap the benefits. You will see that as performers during COVID, it was very hard for you to be assisted as government. Uh, the primary problem being that you are disorganized. You are not in an organized fashion where you organize yourselves and you belong to certain organizations and we know who's who so that you can be able to, to be assisted. So the Performance Protection Bill will order for you to actually be operate in a space that is organized so that when there is trouble, you can actually be assisted. Uh, when you talk to the issues like now we are here today, you can talk as one voice because you will be belonging to a certain uh, faction of the, of the industry and you talk in one voice for, for, for issues so that you are protected against issues of abuse that are happening in the industry and you are also protected against issues of piracy for the work that you'll be doing. Even if a show went to come here, instead of one artist being the one that will be represent uh, this community. As a collective, you can work together to be, to be many artists that will actually present that uh, uh, for that particular show. So we are pushing for the industry, once the bill is passed, for the industry to organize itself and work in a, in a more formalized way going forward. So all of these changes now that I've talked about within the bills, at, uh, to ensure that as creatives, you are protected within that space. Even the contracts that you'll be signing, they will be for your benefit at the end of the day, so that even if we are having a dispute, you can fight it in the court of law or through the uh, copyright tribunal, so that you can be assisted. So currently now the bills are within uh, the legislatures and they are looking for input. Uh, from you as the affected parties so that you can say where we are making changes, are we in the right path, or are we losing it, or we need uh, to make changes to, to certain places that you think uh, we didn't touch on, on the bills. Uh, Honorable Chair, that will be my presentation for today, and I will take uh, the questions now. Uh, thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Mrs. Very crystal, pointed, acute, and simplified. Thank you very much, my brother. Raka reta di poto, kilaka chor reta emisa mato roso roso aye, and then uweze poto a ujali kinga kamona. Kita takamona kitele kama. Kikupa batu baba tangu bua ba pamise mato. Kito li bisa kadi no mo roleske langka hampi. Kwa arka ita mabizo re langka na kwete ne. Nda temo na number one. Kikupa watu re no mo rao. Tane fele kire number two zwa. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Ki six ya ufe. Okay, kuparkaleka number one. Okay, arte. Dutulunza. Oh, utuli dule ma. Ageri kile njia ren na. Dule ma ni kwa shasha ma na halu. Kadi no more sing kadi lip. Number one, two, jalo zwa. Kwa shasha ma na halu na hadi no more sing kadi lip. Mikey kuo pela halu na mo. Uta ema mo usoi. Eh, usoi buwe ma. Upa fela, au buwa ore kina mama, kitwa kai, bobe ya nita ha. Thank you. Karakatwa ila. Eh, koto mba swari. Kena tahu wa runa bulese. 
tamuna face one in rack, so sorry, beg him. And Tweety Hupang Jalibu walk out to Atabatina Timonati. One a lady artist. I had a spoke of an lady harp. Here is Owe. Twale Seka Muso Waf Hay Stata. Oko Sebe Hacho Pola Hank. Just so la mino mu. How na nix? Kari kata di for mobu etawate monati. Hava twale mona baide. Reset. Maran tebu shoko to yukwa. Mona le baba mba di artist. Masebe tang. Le muso abu na le fap. Hana yu alo to kete ko miti yeto kye mela. Keko ye. Young way up, Pili, Goliti, Twanet Ari, create a cover to Babina, yes, a mutuous and artist, I have a lemotrailing artist, Kibutata Vergan and Lebon. Had you go a mo, even born a balefa, Pabak and Aripati, Bafisha Banka to Luana Late and Batuale Rona Muna Balefa Chalet. Luna le tlo sala mo le rutile le zwalo ha ona next in 2020 le tla and a high boat out and a moose or seven as well. But so I get all when I know office, I'm no tinker, my Kimahasa. Office, you is a bellet a bite and bite and I bat a billet. Naked and what up where I born, I keep wet. I did the water, Hunaka coffee tea, you call it a seventy a huna. Naked, you have a couple of like three fifty. Hold at three fifty. Fela ke tlo o jwetsa ke tso falla mino mmu. Dwale ke a go pa tso he tso he tso he. Di ntho ha di bua ha ke be nete o kwetse tsalo morao. Ke nthwene ke botsa ke gana mmu sona o sebetsa jwa. Mohlala ha ke le cap down e ke sebetsa ke ganna di lo ke tsa mohlala. Ke sile mosadi le bana tso solo. Nke be ka kenya ke te fela ka ge Mosari ya kao tote chalete umentena bana baka. Chwane tiki ete talo mraoge. Mosari ye una ufela rekela bana di ito. Aba chwege hante. Osa la ngopila chalete ya lasea. Yudula ya lasea tili. Kin tege ijanyi. Hase khale negele fieta kuron start. Kenale bo pakiso mkwe. Na yeno ana sebeta le sedi efebe. Obaneng, um, you know, one out of now our farm. Kebe, Kebo, Tamu, Primi, I come back in the artistic of Restata, Retroli Tools. Never till today. Has a check a tata for Motale Fab. Kerempa, I hear Nokia, Kiaku, Pem Pebe, Haria, one uncle Salamu, Tabatemona di Monati, Kalebo, I get a Peleaka, Maradi Sebeta Hale. Is Kavarita by Fela Rakatua Mona, Yabakin Yele Hai Tobal Kalebu Molin Kamalam Dingu Aya and the Hoda and Bagal Yabagal and Goo. Oh, I'm not Sunday. Oh, oh, Molin, I come along with you. I am the hotter to do not miss you. Eh, is when the input eh, we police agents in Bini, but the Kakul in Shala we copyright amendment bill, cover e performance and protection bill as a sector. I think we have made our voice clear. Uguchi, we are happy eh, about it, and if. The president can speed up the, the process of signing it. That would be great for us, even including the copyrights amendment bill. Uh, on section 12, uh, 
ku copyright amen ben bill where it speaks about if fair use we are requesting humbly so as a sector to say can the department provide us with economic research about fair use because our stand is that it should be removed from the bill before this bill turn into being an act of parliament can it be removed and be packed because this uh, bill it also uh, affect or changes of policies in it especially the section 12 which is a fair use it doesn't speak to us as the creative sector uh, it, it it opens a lot of problems for us uh, we welcome on on the copyrights bill amendment bill we welcome the section of e copyrights tribunal court as a, as a, as 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 proposed by 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 the bill secondly uh, on contracts we 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 stand against the clause that says the minister should be the one that prescribed the contract for us as a sector there is no other sector whether you go to mining you go to oil sector whatever sector you can think of that has a standard contract when it comes to business we are in a business uh, 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 environment here so we would i know there's a point where they would say the minister is going to have a minimum say into prescribing a contract for us so we are saying it's not stipulated into the bill so we are we are really not comfortable about that the issue of the minister uh, 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 being the one that prescribes the bill for us the contract for us sorry uh, on collecting society in 2018 we we made a presentation in parliament uh, to say let the the industry be open let anyone who wants to open a, a, a collective society have a chance to do that but stressing on that issue of being accredited by the dtic as a collective society we should hold our collective society accountable as members and that's where dtic in this bill they need to play a role in, in strengthening that clause or during their accreditation to say as a collective society you need to be accountable to your members so that you don't find what is happening now regarding issues of collective society and as a sector we also have a responsibility to speed up processes uh, of having different collective societies including in different sectors such as your theater your tv and film uh, sculptures uh, and, and 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 literature we we need to uh, uh, respond to that call so that we don't find ourselves being 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 exploited by our work being produced in 2023 and 2024 dstv buys your work and then your work doesn't pay you as an actor uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a recent thing that just happened just to make an example chairperson iso iso was was was, was, was you, we all know that it used to play a long time ago and now it's bought by netflix i can assure you standing here that uh, there are issues of royalties uh, of those that have played kuizo iso compared to what is happening now because it, it it is not from the production company and those who who, who were acting or play in that um, uh, story by then they have signed contract of once off payment which doesn't speaks or respond to royalties uh, so also collective societies needs to open and we are glad that it's, it's included here after our presentation in 2019 that you can establish your own collective society but be accountable to members and uh, this is a up for now thank you chairperson hello yeah i think Koda has laid a foundation or 
ratseba la tshiseya o na ntshutse nga tsetsa dithabela maradi sa aman le molao ditlo la se ba hona mothato di sampe ka ven khoda wentse fauchin ya hore ha re etsa di peiso re di etsa jwa mabapi le molao thanks play thank you very much chairperson uh, my name is player mukwena the current deputy president of South African Arts and Culture, Yifora. Uh, equally, I would like to acknowledge the presence of the Chief Director, Department of Sports, Arts and Culture and Recreation, Dedicator, and also the Secretary General, Creative Cultural Industries Federation of South Africa, which is CIFSA, the Federation of the Industry. I am a roda. You are welcome, my brother. Uh, equally, leader, ourselves as South African Arts and Culture Youth Forum were in line with what Sifs has just presented right now. We are agreeing on the document itself. But, leader, we, 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 we have concerns, however, even if, even if we understand and accept the document. The issue here is that why can't we develop a law or not a clause within the white paper itself to say Department of Arts and Culture must be fully involved in all processes of the creative industry? One, I'll say CIFSA used to host a conference of CIFSA where we discuss the same white paper, where we discuss uh, what is this thing? White, 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 white paper. Eh? Yeah, white paper. And then Department of Arts and Culture is not there. Legislature Portfolio Committee is not there. And then yet we are we all aware that CIFSA is not just a forum, but it's a forum which is recommended by the former president of this country, Comrade Jacob Suma. You see. Of which we're expecting first state we must have two representative of the representatives of the creative industry within the city itself. Because this structure CIFSA, they are four months. Is implemented by the former president. But even today, since 2015 until today, we still don't have two representatives of the creative industry within the panel itself. The question is what are you discussing on behalf of the creative industry while the, the industry itself is not there to speak for themselves? Remember, parliament is formed by the political structures. No artists there. But these are politicians. Politicians who never experienced the creative industry themselves. What are they discussing on behalf of the sector while the sector itself is not there to speak for themselves? I agree with the objective of forming or implementing this structure by former President Jacob Zuma was to say we are now formalizing the, 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 the arts industry and now we are formalizing the industry, then they must have two representatives from national to the provinces where they're going to speak the issues on themselves. Later, whether we like it or not, we've been discussing this paper since 2011 till today. The same paper, as good as it is, it never worked for anybody. But it's good. It's a good document. And you could imagine, Parliament changed how many times? How many chairs did we have since 2011 till today? And then there's no changes, there's nothing. But we, every, every five years, we discuss the same uh, performance, uh, the performance act and stuff like that. You see? We want real things. We want things to happen. Number three, what is important is it cannot be correct that we have a port portfolio committee of arts and culture which is not accessible. It can be correct. Yet the industry itself is struggling and suffering. Exploited by the same government officials, junior staffs in the office of the MEC, suffocating the same artists. And yet you are saying we have portfolio committee when there's an issue, artists will be able to, to say we are here to lodge dispute or no more complaints. There's no platform for artists to vent their frustrations. Why we have portfolio committee of arts and culture while it is not ex uh, ex as being, uh, accessible? It can, there's no point. We must make sure that we open a, a, a communication line to get, so that the artists are able to, to access 
portfolio committee itself. Why I'm saying this that is because many artists, when we speak of uh, performance rights, they don't know their rights because people who must educate them from time to time about their rights, they are nowhere to be found. They are just receiving um, payments, salaries, and then they leave. You go to Art and Culture Center, Fezile, W Art and Culture Center, you will never find any of them in a working environment. But these people, every month, they are earning salaries. It's salary for what? It's not that a looting. It's a looting at a high, a high grade. One must deal with that accent. The last... There's this thing called Makufi. Office department and the portfolio committee has never said the wait. There have been complaints after complaints. There have been newspapers after newspapers. There have been radio interviews after radios. But the portfolio committee has never said the wait. Instead, I will say there's no political party that represents industry in this portfolio committee, which is relevant. You are all non relevant. I think the premier must disband this portfolio committee. There's no important for us to have this portfolio committee. Yet artists are under attack by the government officials and portfolio committee is sitting there enjoying champagnes and shampoo at Makufe without saying a word. But you are always there seeing the crisis. Artists being exploited, sabotaged in front of your faces. You are saying nothing. And that is correct. There are many artists died poor here in Free State. The point of sports, arts and culture have never played a role. Making sure that they take care of their constituents. But I'm, I'm very much worried. What makes this department and this portfolio committee different from how the portfolio committee of arts and culture and the Department of Arts. What makes you different? I'm very much worried. Because all I know that we are all under Chapter 9 institution. We serve under one constituency. But those people that are performing better than first day. Why? It cannot be correct that, that, that we have artists dying. I mean, let me say, a theater artist who's performing at the theater there. And therefore you don't say anything. You don't even support that particular artist. But we, uh, then tomorrow we have another artist performing and acting a generation from first state and therefore department they are there in numbers celebrating the passing of that particular person it's an insult to the creative industry on its own when you treat these people you must treat them equally with respect and understand what they are doing because you are there to serve their interest you are there to make sure that they are protected you must make sure that they are happy at all costs don't remember them because you are on the edge of the elections and therefore you remember these people. Uh -uh. From day one, after you access the office, you must make sure that you attend them at least once in a month or not twice in a month. On closing and sitting leader. Dada. Why? Why do we have this portfolio committee? What informs this portfolio committee? Is there anybody who can explain to us the importance of this portfolio committee and where does this portfolio committee exist? Because we don't see this, but we don't know this portfolio exists where. We've never seen this portfolio committee for the past years. Not only four years because it's this term. Speaking of this term, previous one, they are worse. Yes, 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 I don't want to even talk about them, but I want to talk about this one. It's about four years without us seeing these people. Where are you existing? Thank you very much. Tumela. Uh, Kali Bitoki Sipo Ganafana from Paris. Kenana Playhouse are believed in Chatanatanya. It's a Buatemalo and Natigatan Riki. 
Hello? Miss Araba Taubu. Just a second. But my Sudibela app. Eh, Mugrubaluna, the artist sent Cha, but Babacha, my dear Santana Adamata, and the flow. Margaret Arabia had such an anna. Rona report for the committee. And a report for the perfect committee, Eldan Stratin. Redula legislature. We belong a legislature. We only go to go out how many the bills. What are the legal bills? And a but I'm alone. I'm contributor. We all. We're not alone. What are the issues here in Tamanda? The royalties. How many the focus on the royalties? We're not alone. The little truth. And the other issue is what? Arata bona rona o tonka di complain eh re we know how hard it is for everyone our old young youngsters but as e issue hore re mona ho tlo le test ka ba to ba ta di vote no we are not here for votes we are here because we want to help you but the bill president o di ntse so re ditle and a bill e ha ite fela e initial if you do that more, who took it? Billy, it has a new Billy is once a year back home. I got a day out of that. If you are in high work at the artist, most of the artist kid owner said about our new whole alone and a link in the information. The building thing look up on it. The book of Billy in our day, it only to say, Haka, I be the inner with someone to get Billy, get Billy. The artist of the Diragi Bills are hard off at all. But what we are saying, poor, hard of focus or the Billy in it or to a Mudimokai, really, 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 free starter and a really bad cha and the really, really good hurry. But I'm Baba Hulu, of course. But up to now, I'm so much better than you to ever to an MP. Issues about my coup is that they didn't say that. Kitty issues say. They are getting carried points, of course. Mar Ribuaga, Bivere Ring, Luna, Dipe, the contributor, and also the refer the points. This is a national parliament. More glory discuss one thing or the character of Bana Tuso. Yena Eole Bata. Mabada Hana Ridi, what? Now I've even said, you know, case at end, but what I have so good. I have so good because Honality Ramo. DJ Tira. DJ Tira was a Uputa, a dollar of Fairman by Kings at end. Uba Bade Moon. And Emily Moon over five gigs about M. Wagi. A benefit. Ronald is a how that more benefit and take. The Ojibu, the Houghton Studio, the Hotel Clamor, the studios are constata. But Rata or Little Epid, Little Epid, and a Chepperson or Tengwa, what committee. And how to tell a fellow Abona Hori, Diala, and Halila, Marlilla, according to the bill, so that the Bona the intentional Naga Bidi and a gay thing. Gary was a person. Okay, thank you. Eh, we in Iya copyright, Kerata, Tati, the way we link at Inca Tabayadi contracts. Eh, Jalogari di artisti eh, Mufri Stata, Rufman Hori, Angata, Rufuam Sibetikati. Okay, get a petard. If it's okay, see for Canafana, get to our tomorrow in Paris. Eh, copyright. Safumana is an artist. We are not given uh, physical contracts. Refua, a telephonic agreement. Eh, Hangata is a lucky boat department, it's a government. And then along the way, onto it, I'm saying it, eh, agreement is a little field. I terminate and also in some civic, the patala I saw. So now go power a key key in your tower in our we need a protection. Our whenever there is a communication in between our column civic, even to a cover, go what's up or got telephone civic to our pattern. One of another level park, you are the easy agreement to the ring. The letter if you tell either they must pala capa government only ring. I don't know if you want to see it. You want a legislature, 
Mula notu repe ite di, di fasheo. Tsaba ya tape. Anze repe ente di fasheo. Contract isi timini ito. Outu isi fulu mutomu. So repe mwana ri. Kisate ibo hore. Antanke. Asibide tao yaka. And then. Wona le. Tuena ya hore. Mwana retuwa in rural areas. Uh, most of us. Mo free state. Ra exploit tu. Wakibo wana bonta te. Ti raska mi anza bu. Wale bonta te DJs bu. So reko pa hore. Kara mas pala, wana li budi official, te bi tuang adhalsha officials. Le kara di street. Reko pa batu waba le vizibo. Le bo wana badi fumani, di copyright, protection, bilite ina te lukwen rguwa gato na gashi. Mwiti sa loosa ane haglo la obo, wana re la obo. Abati emu ror la ga e. Ki batu walo ren baike nitwe fe na msebe tuwa wana haba wa understand yo kata manatwa. Impa msebe ti wa munta te tira haba kitu. Ati kiswa ke bo wana horo wana re, batu waka exploit. Osa ane ase re exploit tuwe kute la obo na. Loko pa ubwa lwana, bagisa di loya ring. Ofishi nita tu uwa niti, di loya kati expensi. Ari konore, ka kono di pata. Loya kot, engana. Kana kwe msebi tuwa rona usu ili chubeke. Artisti te di nita rona msebi tuwa te ingu. Di biti di tami, di pina di tami. Ki exploitation yano ring, ya nita anakara mo tuwa rona. So reko pa ore, di art and culture official ta rona ta maspali. Ore le tuwa nanga biti di te imuna. Di to uti sisa, nchate loko ingu buwa kato. And then, Kwa palo ti eba wakati Asian ti tena ti lo gen di ten kahara ti panen ti sports arts and culture ti chwana li bo National Arts Council ra ti ba ite mo free state office wana le ti din ti lo gen di kahara free state council of the arts ha ga ti be lo gen ti wana di ten na mo nana wana le wana ki ba ba mba ba tuwa lor di hangat haribu wana le wana ti din ta din sa habana habana very well information ya wana Bagari saka hika pa bagari protector juu whenever we are exploited. So ni rukopo alibo na kosa hika pa nini? Haba kwa badi fuu di pilite na kuchono tiba. Ba kwa na understand di lota ro na na. Kwa nani alibo di funding tena lugha ndiyo ato. And then funding hayo juu. Kufuma na seventy percent of funding. And then we attempt seventy. Atempt seventy. Atempt seventy. O compla. O fanya kadi compliance. O fanya leka di proof tauri atempt seventy. Thirty percent of total mile e pata. Tisek. Department of Sports and Culture, haya sa upata. NEC leo na inali atata zwa alo lebo na ba free state art and culture kanse. Abara tu lupata li 30% ya zaro nati sangan moda. So reko pa wake. Mwena le protection ya kenyo amu. Ida hao nsua fundi. Chalete hae mpe patu wale 100% didi kuru wafe. Then rona kata fana ka wopaki ka mura wakene temi sidi. So bani ntwena 80%. Since the inception ya di fundi. Till today, most of the artists are getting from money charity around us. Let me tell you, from money for the seventy percent, thirty percent are outside from. Right now, the first bill is due from COVID, but after COVID, ah 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 ah, twenty nineteen, it's a from money the seventy percent, thirty percent are weekly. Now, how many from? So, we go back maybe in the bill. We can wait about the artist and pay the patron the hundred percent. Then, but answer, ah, Bob, I give up on the seventy camera because the thirty percent are getting from money at all, and then. Enwori. Lastly, ke taba ena ya sifsa ke nana babu ina kayo. Kutule ndate are because of abakono kutufisa we are disorganized. Yes, ka 2014-2015 kile ka launch sifsa. And most of the artists in South Africa re keno yo. Lino 2020 re launch se enwe sao sif. So, how to disorganize are kono kutufisa. Nere na hana sifsa e industry ke department of sports and culture. And of which we are going to have a full budget. But today, because of the labor of the fire sites in Gagas, we are going to be organized. The rest we are organized. National issues are represented. But because of, like I said, we don't have visible art officials. We are going to have a lot of people. We are going to have a lot of people. We are going to have a lot of people. We are going to have a lot of people. We are going to have a lot of people. We are going to have a lot of protection from the national level. I don't think it was in it. I was a resort to one of the local municipality art and culture officers. Kapa di monitor me, yearly or maybe quarterly. We want to handle by some service now. Because now we have a culture official. Hello, ring the service of the tents. The service of my big. The service of the new. The service of the total ring. They are not relevant to the arts. But how we are the arts. Anna di total ring. I will support them at all. Oh, yeah, yeah. We are now. So how are you going to monitor with the art and culture officials, both district and local? So that we cannot just say that we are safe, that we are safe. Tell us what we are going to do. Just like we are trying to do, you know, for other departments or other public sector, 
eh, department. No road to go south side, south side. Do you recognize you? It's about to be a tissue card. Thank you. Eh, I get the boy money at the end, Anna. He do me this every time. 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 Uh, <laughs> 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 I mean, ki ki se ki buella da benya copyright. Or ana ntu fona ntu saji artisti, budi agencies da benya ore haba saina di kontra. Se ilu ore di agencies ni da beni ba ide zono. Ana bili ena na ntu influencer the tabling of the contract. Terms and conditions that you contract in our own. But I don't know who will say I have to contract it. More artistic in Tabela for Saina and Tabela appoint. In Pamatata, I have to contract a more happy favor the artist. So there is a hope as the artist to worry. Hamula Ponana, who to say of Panagadi Gai. Zahore, how we get to a contract back, back in Zadi, artist, leading agencies, who banally go fair in between. So, Mula Wuna, and I go to a fair for it. Eh, eh, eh. Musu, retuse for it, risk it, and to a talent. Yabu Bed, Kyuhore, and now, how so poor would the royalties? Billy in a Nakinana or a garden to some Hagas later, and the ceiling and the floor of the royalty. For a how mana Musebe as an artist, Ulu Fanagata, Bunyan Buban, the guideline, the church of Horre, or Tamia of Mane percentage, you can have maximum. Or this percentage minimum. Keep um, telling the performance protection bill. Uh, I carry the artist here to do a disclosure for appearance. Me had to do a Kenya one track for appearance. Money agency, a cabula The artist is in another change. I get the Mosha a horrid appearance here how it ten thousand grand. Impa artist in Otamali thousand grand. A gay agency have been sitting for boy who fled into the Tamanadi Central. Mara at the end of the day, for latching how would you have been driving the Tunia? So, in the room, the appearance is the thinner. Do you follow how to get into a challenge? How to get into a challenge? The government of the man a challenge is more than 40%. Yeah, it's a high average. Yeah. Yeah. Molueni, Ochetayo, Tobeka, Zanani, 
Sala up as a gala. She said, Womb put on Obi's wife, come valley to us. Er, you put on some new or supply, and then sing our own sa, look on the gala up at the fire. So, Nabendis of Taylor, he office. They are in culture from Bomas Pala of the province. Obubas is recognized there. Ama artist as a man. Nan seven of Abantuan. Abantuan and Tatabantuan Abana six years. Who figure up between one years. Bayans are in Baya Jaipa. Bayans are in art and culture. Bayans are in suited dance to this course. Ama piano. And then the bands are later. Oko Kala and Na the office and Na the Aba practice and the Aba practice and the Aba majority. So in the other way, which is the recognized way, and the Blinga, my artist, the Lana Gat, I say upon Tola, Ama Ubutiba, Batole, and Ukufano. Government or um, office that we are in the front. So in the to us to recognize the care they have got from the Guanila, the England, the multiple groups. When are they invented? Government who say president. So in the end, that is our officials. We go to the Kerala. We go to the the Abantu na ba ba perform. So, let's cut the sun in the present day and the bathroom or the back one and meeting and the bathroom. So, man, then, what you tell which I ain't. I'm officials. No, who will be said, no, I'm going to tell a lawyer. Man, figure who will know what I'm going to lawyer. Now, no, actually, I'm going to tell you exactly the time. Yeah, I'm office in Gomas, but I'm going to see so I'm told. I'm going to tell you, 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 I'm going to so when you are in cognition, if I stay, you are being exercised when you must sit for meeting as in general, then you must be able to meeting as a size of which is corner. Now, when you are about to go to the babona kali matalenge wa, then he you are going to have an event. When you are going to have an event, you are going to have an event. You are going to have an event. You are going to have an event. So as it's a performance, even the band of a puma, Honala, if you like that, or a metima wood, even the band of a puma, a metima wood, who much of whom do we are, maybe when you if the town or when you probably say, even the band of a puma, then so on good that is very nice. And then, oh, Honabule, oh, meeting, oh. The end of the last morning, some day of performance, big places of the end, who go on some day. They are not about the bank in that uniform, who bank at that next thing, some the bank has no commerce part, then go on to perform it. That was why I'm an uniform. So they are there, who must not see the person sitting in the one line of the bank, I'm in the office in the final way to like who to own it, art and culture. Most of the office in the book, I'm here by the teacher, I'm a little official. The end of the day, for the last day, but you have to make a to Okay, as you but I'm going to come my artist
We must allow them to speak and we must give them uh, candid replies. Uh, there's no one who's to be protected here except yourselves. Parliament is for the people. You are the parliament. We are just representing you. 
So we must carry your aspirations and your views and do as you expect. So when we are in a public hearing, it's not us to speak, it's to listen to you. It's no place for us to show off that we are better than you. We are not in the first place. So we must allow you to speak. We will go to the legislature and speak, Rona, and debate amongst ourselves. So there's no show off here. We must listen to you. So you can go ahead and speak. Uh, thank you, Honorable Chair. Uh, thank you to, to the members also for, for their views. I think, uh, Chair, from the input we received, uh, we noted a lot of it was around opportunities uh, within the arts and culture space. But the one that relates to the bids, uh, we do note the issue of the agents of the bill. Uh, that's precisely why we are here today, and we are continuing with the process to ensure that the bill can be pushed forward. We do understand that time has passed uh, since we've been working on the bill, but we're doing our ultimate best to, to actually support the president and parliament also to uh, sign off the bill going forward to, to below so that we can actually start to implement uh, the issues we're talking about today. Also, the issue of the fair use, it is noted that you do require a research in that space uh, for it to, to be informed within the bill, uh, something that we have captured from our side and uh, we'll put it in our report as well, that the views uh, we're pushing for the use to actually be omitted from the bill and also for your research to inform that particular uh, provisions of the, of the bills currently. The issue of the contract, uh, we do understand the issues that were raised in terms of the minister have uh, been prescriptive uh, in terms of the terms and conditions that you want to, uh, for the minister to put forward. And also the issue of the realities. Like I said, the issue of the contract will talk to some of those issues, talking from uh, your terms and conditions that, uh, that are just, that will ensure that you are protected. It will also talk to the issue of the payment arrangement, where you are due to be paid royalties. You know exactly how are you going to pay, be paid, and when are you going to be paid. So that will be captured in, in that particular contract. And if there's any disputes, then the copyright tribunal can be used for you to deal with those matters of the contract, being the terms or the payment of the, of the royalty. Further, the bills, they do prescribe for the rates in which a royalties must be paid, and also whereby you'll be sharing royalties. What percentages must actually be, uh, be given to, to the creatives uh, when uh, collecting societies are making those payments. So section 39 does cover those issues. And then we will have to deliberate them more when we are actually doing the regulation, when the bill has been passed and it's law now, when we do the regulation, we'll go to the nitty gritties as to how much will be those uh, royalties will be paid out and how we determine those figures so that we are all at par at, at the figures that the minister may prescribe being the minimum to the maximum. And we'll see how we do that in the regulations. Uh, I think, Honorable Chairperson, that's uh, the questions that I saw that we should clarify and also provide input when necessary. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chairperson. Uh, I would like to respond to some questions that were directed directly to, to the department. Uh, let me start by the question about the exploitation of artists. Last year, we had a creative sector a summit uh, with all the artists from all uh, districts where we were discussing the rates as to uh, how much should we pay artists also according to the level in which they are. So we have that participant the artist adopted it uh, in their majority, so it's still there. So I think uh, the issue of uh, exploitation of artists in terms of payment uh, should be something of the past currently. 
There was a question also, Chairperson, about the role of Police State Arts and Culture Council. Uh, this council is appointed by the MEC, is reporting directly to the MEC. But I'll take over this matter to the office of the MEC to say, uh, artists, they don't see uh, the role of uh, PACC, and then they, they are not able in terms also of assisting artists, uh, because it's their mandate also to, to assist artists in terms of funding, uh, in terms of exactly what we are discussing now as to how we should protect the rights of the artist. Uh, the recognition of CIFSA, yes, we are supporting CIFSA within the province, uh, but we did not support last financial year because of the internal issues. I think once those internal issues are resolved, we'll continue to support CIFSA because we know it is a mandate from the National Department uh, to support CIFSA. And also, it was impossible for us to release funds for CIFSA uh, for previous financial year because we did not get uh, audited financial statement as to what did they do with the money that was given to them. Uh, one other thing that I would like to um, indicate is that, yes, when we have events in all the districts, like for instance, this coming Saturday, we are celebrating Freedom Day here. We take uh, cognizance of the fact that most of the artists who are supposed to benefit from that particular event, they're supposed to come from this particular district. And that's exactly what is being happening. Currently, there's a meeting on the opposite building where they are discussing this thing. Uh, 80% of the artists that will be performing on Saturday, they will be coming from the same district. I'm answering the question of uh, the lady. And 20% will come from other districts. Remember, Freedom Day is not a regional event, it's a provincial event. So we need a mixture also of other um, artists from other districts. Uh, we are aware that our art centre here in the district is very small. And we are, in a, we are busy now planning to extend it so that it becomes big because we cannot do anything. We know also that is why we have uh, provided those, uh, those containers, but those are temporary measures. But the bigger plan is to extend that particular uh, uh, center and it will be done in this current financial year because it is in our plans in terms of ensuring that uh, we expand to the uh, center. Chairperson, I think that is all. Thank you. Yeah, no, thank you. I'm not sure there's still replies. Uh, okay. After that reply, now, <clears throat> there were other issues raised about why are we appearing now as the portfolio committee, what is our role, where have we been hiding, and... Uh, uh, that the, the, the premier must disband us. Um, he must disband us because we appear not to be useful. But I think those issues will be answered properly in another session. Uh, probably in an imbizo or elsewhere. And, uh, but I appreciate that you have issues you want to raise. It's not your fault not to know uh, that Parliament is different from legislature. We don't account to the premier. The premier accounts to the legislature. There are different arms of, go of governments. There's a legislature, which is us. There's executive, the MEC, the premier. And then, so it's the other way. So they can't disband us. Did not form us. But we'll explain those things some other time. But it's our duty to educate you or how parliament works. So, so we, we come here on a public hearing because we must input when the law has to be changed or amended or anything. So you must participate because it's your law and it's your parliament. We must take your views and then integrate them and then make the law because it's yours. That's how participation happens. So we're going everywhere else receiving views. So those who don't speak here, it's not the end of the world. You can still do written submissions. I'm going to give you three emails where you can submit, write down, sit in your house and say, 
this is what I wanted to tell them, but um, I did not have the courage then to stand. Or maybe you have not fine-tuned your view. So you can still submit. Pabalo, which is P-A, small letters, P-A-B-A, double L, double O, at F-S-I, dot G-O-V, dot Z-A. Okay. Pabalo, at F-S-L, sorry. Dot G O V dot Z A K P A B A L L O O at F S L dot Gav dot Z A Yabu two K hat K capital letter and then G A T H A T S O small letters dot N K E a N E seven seven at gmail dot c o m dot com Hatato dot seventy seven at gmail dot com Then the third one ki zin m at f s l dot gov dot z z capital letter and then i n h l e m at f s l dot gov dot z a you can submit before the two some may ka email when you have time now we've got replies we've got options we we have one hand standing that man and a half man a chance if I feel or even after this he still wants to say something because I am not to be so it's the only hand Luena it's the only two hands thank you the last file in Manabes okay I'm going to go for it I'm going to go a visual artist. So now put your ka in the ya ho ho abuti at kadilem pele mona na ana buwa kadiko ya artist. So kena le put your ore. Here is an exhibition. So somebody will come and buy a painting. Then what am I? We are going to be in the town. Ne. So ever my I don't know what is happening. Ka the painting I will give you. Maybe somebody from overseas will fish and go near here. Over that is painting. Okay, no, because whatever came out and painted by this one from me, then I'll go and buy another one from the artist. So how am I going to know over the painting that somebody bought it to me has been resold to somebody else, so that I can be able to claim my royalties? Sure. Okay, not Calvis again, looking for much related to Tabo, Pesle Dabi, or Kunstad. Now concerning Akako, okay, incredibly honored. Aratola and Aboy, the Kitisha, very shabby, a guy in the sky. So, Ginana Hori, in order to be to be very long, really free before. So that how we fit our own sentiments have to be improved. It's a good. Hi, Ben. The way in which you put your work out, you're not here, and I'm here. The performance is a good. Because I know that you're doing a lot of work in the Food Department of Arts and Culture. In order to be doing very long, you need to be part of the Arts Center or the School of Sakuna Muna Namu District. So that at least the people who never saw by a kind of day will explain to a kind of day. But to our matter about to one and a half to stay to buy a book from Taylor, for a bar on a whole about to lose some sympathy. I want to be. That's where more in the morning, my papa and my tattoo. Happy to know 
No, the pace of Salona, the Amuhele, I'm not sure you are, do you have a take as Busiso? It was just comments and inputs. I'm not sure you want to take something. And Dr. Keta, you want to something? You're fine. That is Busis. You can. Yeah. No, thank you, Honorable Chair. Uh, I think the issue of the painting, as we will deal with it on uh, uh, Section 7B, uh, for now, we have not prescribed a process as to how you go to track that particular painting. Uh, for in the bill now, we are putting provision that we can enable you to get a uh, resale of your royalties whenever your painting is being sold. So once this bill becomes law and we start to do the regulations, now we'll unpack it as to how are you going to check that particular painting so that you can get uh, the royalties that are due to you. So we'll also embark on a similar process to come to the people that are affected and say, here are the regulations that we think will work and you'll make your input even there so that you are covered as well the process that you have to follow in order for you to to get the royalties for the paintings. Thanks. Uh, thank you. I think uh, I think we're taking the input for education. Unzoka Arab until Tuesday. The two. I think the two the Tuesday. You can still make inputs in writing. You can follow us. We're going to welcome Card 28 doing the same thing. If you want to do it orally, you can still do it there. So Parliament is for the people. If you can access the portfolio committee, you can access the speaker at any given time. You can access the Parliament at any given time. Write a letter or an email. Just want to be listened to. Only petitions, committee, there's a low lot of things you can access Parliament anywhere, anytime. And uh, I think the criticism that we did not do sufficient groundwork in terms of highlighting, in terms of creating the hype and people participating so that they know there are these things. I think that criticism in terms of participation of people, other than just us coming here today, there should have been build-ups. This is what people are saying in terms of the information in the society. So we take that criticism. We'll find a way to, to fine-tune our structures. But other than that, I think um, we, we are happy. I'm not sure the logistics in terms of food. Uh, there, there must be those announcements before we close. We open by a prayer. I'm not sure we're going to pray and close again. Uh, I'm not sure. Player, you want to come back on something? Okay, you can. Remember, it's not an ANC meeting. Because I, I could hear as you were inputting, you were raising sharply ANC issues, and I'm like, we're in a different platform, Chief. We are not ANC here. Yeah. We are members of parliament here. Yeah. Go there. We are members of parliament. Yeah. Dealing with issues of the nation, not of a party. <laughs> No, thank, thank, thank you very much, uh, artist, uh, community, physical and community, and prostate at large. Equally, announcement creator, fellow governor, 
And it's the first time ever department in Hostel of Freedom Day in Sabdela, Kara I do you remember that while we host Abraham Sris? So we won't write benefit about the first start and benefit about Bahaudi. So it's better to reduce the Kara Location, but we have access. So that's the purpose of the city of the Department of Arts and Culture and Play on abuse. For Freedom Day, it will be travel to Honamona Multi People Center, Makeno Kimahan. Why not bring your own cooler box and chem chair and have fun? Thank you very much. Player. Wang abuse. Now, can we quickly, before we pray, all the earpiece, but what can you to tell the Mamelanga di Tebe? Tell it you to Sauro Utre, how you work up when we recopalid you who he Please, all the earpiece, can we get them back? All of them. We need them for another community where we are going. We need them for another community where they are going so that they also are able to hear and then we are able to share information. Can we return them? And uh, food is ready. We are asking you to be seated and then it will be coming in here immediately when we close. I won't send this, 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 I I will let him out. Oh, 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 me ribile le kopano ya hantle hlono lo fatsa bana ba ha ka ka karetso re ba balle ba tsamae hantle me ba sireletse ditsilentse ba yangotsona ka lebitso la ntate le la moralla mo yo hallanga me